Hi there, this is Ed Herzog, and in today's video, what I want to talk about is what theme to use for Elementor. This is a question that gets asked a lot in the Elementor Facebook group, and it's basically now an off-limits question. The mods won't even allow it. They'll just, you know, basically shut it off immediately. It's, be, it's been asked so many different times that, you know, I think they're just tired of it, and most of the people in the Elementor Facebook community are tired of that question as well. But you know, if you're trying to choose a theme for your website, you know, if you're using Elementor and want to know, you know, what theme should I use? That's what I'm going to talk about in this video. But first of all, I'm going to tell you, you know, there is no such thing as the best theme for Elementor. That's, you know, people often phrase the question that way, you know, what is the best theme for Elementor? There isn't one. The best theme for you is different than the best theme for me, is different from the best theme for, you know, the other thousands, millions of people using Elementor because, you know, your business and your website is different than mine and is different than, again, all the other thousands and millions of people using Elementor. So what you need to do is you need to choose the best theme for your purposes. So what I'm going to talk about in this video is I'm going to basically talk about a process for deciding what theme to use for your website, for your business. So I'm going to switch over to my desktop and talk about some things that you can look at when you're choosing a theme for Elementor. So where to start in terms of choosing a theme for Elementor is I would start on this article here that was written by Elementor themselves called Which Themes Work Best with Elementor? And here they list a bunch of themes that, you know, according to them, the, uh, you know, Elementor will work well with all themes, uh, the themes that, you know, as they say here, are themes that respect the coding standards of WordPress. But this is a list of themes which are managed by developers who care about the compatibility with Elementor. So they have this broken down into two sections. One are free themes, and then down here you get premium themes, which as far as I know, don't have a free version. So you know, if you go with one of these, you'll really need to take a look at them before you make the decision to buy. Now many of these free themes also have a paid version. So you, know, you may also wanna take a look at the paid version of some of these free themes. Um, but I'm going to highlight some here that, as you know, from what I've seen, you know, having used Elementor, you know, basically since its beginning, uh, these are the themes that are the most popular with the, you know, with the wide, broad range of the Elementor community. So first of all, you have Hello. This is a, you know, it's a very, as it says here, a very plain vanilla and lightweight theme for Elementor. Now, this is very important. This one you should only use if you're using the pro version of Elementor. This is not a good option if you're using the free version of Elementor. Uh, so that's one choice. The other ones that are very popular are Generate Press, Ocean WP, and Astra. I personally use Ocean WP. Uh, I started using it before the theme builder was around. You know, who knows? Maybe if the theme builder had been around, I'm gonna pick something else, but you know, I stuck with it and you know, it still works fine. Uh, so, you know, these are the ones that, these three here, as well as Hello, are the ones that I would probably suggest you start with. But you can look at the others as well. There's nothing wrong with looking at all of these. Um, and some of these have some more specialized uh, features. You know, Boo Woo says, you know, here it says, uh, it's a WooCommerce theme with custom Elementor slash WooCommerce widget. So if you use WooCommerce, this may be one that you want to take a look at. Um, you know, scrolling down here, uh, it says here, Rife Free also uh, has some stuff related to WooCommerce. So again, might be a good option for people who use WooCommerce. Let's see here. Uh, Ash is a multi-author free WordPress blog theme. So again, if you have a blog and have multiple authors, that might be a good option for you. Again, take a look at these, take a look at the write-ups. Uh, you know, again, as I said, I would start with Hello, Generate Press, Astra and Ocean, but you know, you're certainly free to look at the others. And by the way, I will put a link to this in the description of the video so you don't have to go searching for this particular page. But you know, if you want to use a free theme, I would start with one of these and you know, take a look. You know, you're not limited on element in terms of, in terms of how many themes you upload. So upload, you know, download a bunch of these, upload them, take a look at them and see, you know, is this something I might want to work with? Is this something that would be a good fit for me and my business. Can I, you know, create the type of a website that I want to using Elementor and using this theme? Particularly for the, you know, if you're using the free version of Elementor, which is obviously more limited than the, than the pro version. The pro version, you know, the theme doesn't do quite as much as it will in the in the free version of Elementor. Um, 
So, you know, take a look at those free ones. Now, for the premium ones, the one that I, oops, scroll back down here. The one that I'm most familiar with is Jupiter X. That's been around for a long time. It's uh, available on Theme Forest. It has, uh, you know, it's consistently been one of the top 10 best selling themes on Theme Forest. And it was completely rebuilt. I believe it used to use, um, what is it called? Visual Composer, WP Bakery, whatever they, I always forget what they changed their name to. But, um, you know, it was completely rebuilt using Elementor. And, you know, it's a very, very highly rated theme. So if you're looking for a premium theme, this is definitely Jupiter X is one I was just taking a look at. Uh, but again, you can look here, you know, this Roto says it's a, uh, you know, has stuff for portfolios. So, and also WooCommerce. So that might be a good option if you, you know, if you've got portfolios or if you're using WooCommerce. Uh, schema is one that features rich snippets in order to help search engines identify all parts of your site and rank you higher. So, you know, that could be a good one if that's a value to you. This here, Sonar, uh, is a music WordPress theme. So, you know, again, take a look at all of these. Take a look at, you know, there are probably between the free and premium about 20 of these. You know, just take a look at them and see, uh, you know, is this theme a good fit for my business? And so, you know, see what features they offer. A lot of these, you know, you will be able, even if they don't offer a free version, these premium ones, they'll still let you kind of play around with it a little bit on your on, on their website. So you can get an idea of what it's like before you actually make the purchase decision. I know, for example, with Jupiter, that if you go to the Theme Force page, there will then be a button that you can click and that will allow you to kind of play around with Jupiter a little bit and give you a better idea of what it is you're buying. And ask questions too, particularly if you're thinking of buying a premium theme, you know, before you spend money, make sure that you ask the developers any questions you might have about what the theme can and can't do. So you know exactly what you're buying before you make that purchase decision. So one factor to look at when you're trying out themes is how does it affect the loading time of your website? You obviously want your website to load as quickly as possible. Now, most of the themes that are on that page I showed you, the Elementor page where they have the list of recommended themes are going to load quickly. I mean, they wouldn't be on there if you know there are major issues with those themes, but you will find differences. So you do, you know, particularly with the ones where you have access to a free version, you do want to check out, you know, you can, again, you can put these onto your website, you know, uh, put various ones on your website, you know, make sure you're testing it with the same content, but test it out and see, you know, how does each theme affect the load time of my website? Now, the premium themes where there's not a free version is obviously going to be a little more challenging. You may have to do, you know, may have to ask uh, what is the file size? So that way, at least you'll have some idea because normally there's a relationship, you know, a bigger file is going to take longer to load. You know, you want a, a smaller file, is going to load a lot quicker. So, you know, if you're looking at one of those premium themes, at least ask the author, what is the file size? That way you'll have some idea. But again, you can, you know, most of these here, you know, here I am in my WordPress dashboard and I can just come over here, add new. Astra here actually shows up on the very first page. You know, I can look for generate press. And there it is right there. I can install that. Or you can go to their websites. You know, they've got here, Generate Press. Click over there on, on Install. Ocean, uh, right there, Download. Astra, Download. Hello, which is on the Elementor website right there, Download Theme. So, you know, again, try out a few different themes and see, uh, you know, how do they affect your website page loading time. Now, another thing, another factor that is important in terms of choosing a theme is, and this is particularly true if you're using the free version of Elementor. It's less true if you're using the paid version, but you know, with the free version, your theme is still going to control the look and style of your headers, your footers, your blog page, and your archives. So when you're testing out themes, you want to take a look at those, at those headers and footers and blog, po blog pages and themes to see, you know, is this something I would want on my website? That is how actually I chose Ocean WP is because the way that the, the way the headers and footers looked, the way the blog page uh, looked is what I wanted. It was, you know, for me, again, this was in the days before the, the theme builder was available on, on Elementor Pro. 
the options in Ocean WP were better than what I saw uh, for some of the other ones. Again, better for me. Other people might prefer the headers and footers that are available in Generate Press or in Astra, uh, you know, and again, Jupyter or, you know, one of those other ones on that page. Take a look at those. Take a look at, the, you know, the headers, footers, archive pages, blog posts. Now for paid, I know a lot of people, I actually design my blog pages, my blog posts within Elementor, within the theme builder. Some people don't like to do that. So even if you're using the paid version of Elementor, you may want to take a look at the, at the options for styling your blog page because you know if you don't want to do that in Elementor, then again that will be controlled by your theme. So you know make sure that you can you know style those elements the way you want to with the theme that you're using because otherwise uh, you know <laughs> it won't look the way you want. Uh, again, if you're using the paid version, it's not as important as it is with the free version. The other thing I would suggest doing is looking at, with the free themes, also take a look at the premium version of those themes. Look at the paid version to see if, you know, is this something I might want to upgrade to in the future? You know, do they, does the premium version or the pro version of this theme have features that I might want to pay for? Uh, and, you know, you can do that here on the website. This is Generate Press. And, you know, here they've got their premium modules. They've got a site library, colors, typography. Elements, WooCommerce, Menu Plus, Spacing, Blog, you know, of course you can click, you can get video overviews of all of these here, Background, Sections, Disable Elements, Copyright, Import, Export. Uh, and here, you know, it's $49.95. With Ocean, here you've got uh, Stick Anything, Full Screen, Cookie Notice, Pop-Up, Login, Instagram, White Label, Portfolio, Woo Pop-Up, Sticky Footer, Modal Window, Post Slider, Ocean Hooks, Demo Import, Custom Sidebar, and Elementor widget. So, and again, as I said, you can click on each of these to learn more. We've also got a complete extensions bundle at a discounted price. So, you know, take a look at these because, you know, once you kind of tie your website into a particular theme, it's not always, you know, that easy to switch. Uh, although again, with the pro version of Elementor, maybe it's a little bit easier, but, uh, you know, if you do want, uh, want to change at some point, to the premium version of a theme, make sure when you're starting off the free version, you know what's available in the pro version so that later on you can say, oh yeah, okay, I don't have to switch my theme. I've already got this theme and it's got some add-ons, some extensions that have value to me. I'm gonna go ahead and upgrade to the, to the pro version of that theme. Um, Astra, right here. Nav menu, white label, blog layouts, site layouts, WooCommerce. Uh, what else? Sticky header, page headers, more color controls, better typography, custom layouts, scroll to the top link, footer widget, header sections, more header designs, spacing control. And looks like as you scroll down, you get some, some more information about those. So, you know, again, go through these in detail. Um, you know, when I first started on WordPress, you know, the first theme I picked, I don't even remember what it was called, but it was one that used completely completely use short codes and it was just, I never, I played around with it a lot and never really got anywhere with it. Then I picked a theme from, from ThemeForest, a theme called Total, which is good theme. It doesn't integrate directly in with Elementor, though you could technically use Elementor on it since Elementor works with anything. But I mean, I spent a long time looking at tons of different themes on, on ThemeForest. These were in the pre-Elementor days. And, you know, I went through them in detail before I finally decided, you know what? Total looks like a great theme. It looks like one that will work for me. And, and I bought it and, you know, I still use it actually on my wife's website. It's still, you know, my wife's website I've talked about before is just a simple one page website. So I don't need anything really complicated on her website. And so, so I still use Total. Uh, you know, I bought it years ago. It still gets updated regularly. It's still one of the top themes on Theme Forest. Uh, but, you know, I went through a very long process of looking at these things, you know, make sure, again, this is, particularly true with the free version of Elementor, make sure that you know you go through these in detail. And again, also if you're going for a premium theme where you have to pay, go through in detail. Here's Jupiter. Uh, here's their page on, on ThemeForest. You can click here on this button that says live preview. It'll open up this page here. And you know you can take a look here at, you know, here are the different features, uh, templates, you get, you know, take a look here at the header templates. Oops. Why did that not work? Here we go. So, you know, here are the different header templates that you get with 
with the Jupiter theme, so you can take a look at these, you know, make sure, oh, okay, this is, you know, a, one I really like. I, I could see myself using this one here on my website. Uh, so maybe Jupiter's a good buy for me. Um, so, you know, go through these, go through these, you know, here you see all the different elements you get with Jupiter, portfolio uh, elements, blog elements. And so, you know, go through these in detail and, you know, make the best decision for your business. You know, again, site speed matters, um, particularly with a free version. What matters are your options for header, footer, blog post layout, and and uh, your, your uh, sorry, archive page. And then again, you know, take a look at the premium versions of some of these free ones as well to see if, you know, they have things you want to upgrade to. Um, but, you know, again, because you're using Elementor, it's maybe not as important as a decision as it was back, you know, when I made that decision I talked about when I bought that theme called Total, when, uh, you know, Elementor at that point didn't exist, it wasn't an option. And so I really, really want to make a, make a good decision. With Elementor, you know, don't, don't stress too much about it because you've got this great tool behind it that's going to, you know, a lot of what you're going to be doing is within Elementor. And if you're using Elementor Pro, you know, I don't even know, I couldn't even tell you what the ocean theme does on my website anymore. It, I'm not even sure it does anything other than, you know, fulfill the requirement of, of WordPress of using a theme. Uh, otherwise, I have no idea what ocean does. Uh, it's a theme that I have installed on my, on my website and, you know, my website loads fast, so I don't really see a point in changing it. But uh, yeah, so that's, that's it. You know, that is kind of how I would think about choosing a theme for your website. Again, there is no best theme to use for Elementor. The best theme for you is the best theme for your particular business, for your particular website. And that's going to be different than what works best for other people. So if you have any questions, if I can give you any help whatsoever, please ask. I'm always, you know, I love it when people ask for my help, you know, as long as it's something simple, you know, don't ask me to, to design your website for free or anything like that. Uh, but you know, if you've got a simple question I can help you with, hit me up. I love helping people out. I love answering questions. Um, always glad to hear from people, connect with people. And so, you know, ask me and I'll do my best to help you out. Uh, also make sure to subscribe to my channel. I've got a lot more videos coming out videos on Elementor, videos on other tools to help uh, build and grow your online business. And also hit that notification bell that way you'll know when I release a new video. So that is it. I hope this video was of use to you. Hope you found, hope you found it helpful and I hope to see you in the next video. Bye.